Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode 5 of my Borderlands 3 Legendary Weapon Series. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the most iconic weapons in franchise history, the Hellfire. Back in Borderlands 1, this thing was an absolute monster. It was a bit weaker in Borderlands 2, but it was still pretty awesome. And I'm proud to say that here in Borderlands 3, this gun is an absolute beast of a submachine gun. So my Hellfire is going to be the adapting training Hellfire, though your prefix will likely vary as the prefix is determined by what weapon attachments spawn on your particular gun when it drops. The red flavor text reads, we don't need no something, which of of course is a reference to the flavor text from the other Hellfires that we saw back in Borderlands 1 and Borderlands 2. Like all legendary weapons, the red flavor text also has a hidden meaning, and the hidden meaning for the Hellfire is it will always be incendiary, it will fire these swirling projectiles instead of normal bullets, it has an increased elemental effect chance, increased elemental damage, and apparently a very small amount of splash damage, though I honestly think that the splash damage radius is so small that it's barely going to be a factor in most situations. So how you go about farming this beauty is you need to head over to the Voracious Canopy on Eden 6. Once there, you're going to have to find a creature named Jabber Mogwai. On your screen right now is going to be the fastest route over to him, and what's great about this farm is because the Jabber Mogwai is one of the targets you hunt down for Sir Hammerlock, there will be a respawn station right next to him, which means after you go and kill him, you can then save an exit and you're going to respawn pretty much right next to him when you boot the game back up. Now what's also interesting about this boss fight is if you don't basically melt him in one shot, the Jabber Mogwai will play dead and then come back to life. He will do this two times before he finally dies for real on the third time you put him down, but I found if you're able to one-shot him, say, with a really good sniper rifle or a rocket launcher or maybe your action skill, he won't come back to life. He'll go down the very first try and you'll be able to collect your loot. It took me about 20 or 30 attempts to actually get the Hellfire to finally drop, so it does appear that this weapon has a pretty low drop chance, but keep at it and eventually you'll see that beautiful orange beam coming out of his body. Now that we have the Hellfire in hand, I want to show you guys just how strong it can actually be. One interesting note is, in Borderlands 1 and in Borderlands 2, the Hellfire was a Malawan submachine gun, but of course here in Borderlands 3, Malawan is a lot different than the previous games, and the Hellfire is no longer a Malawan, it's actually going to be a doll weapon. This means it has two different scopes that are available, but the Hellfire will always be fully automatic. What you guys are watching right now is me taking on a bunch of Malawan soldiers with absolutely nothing on my character. I have no class mod, I have no talents, I have no action skills. I wanted to do this because I just wanted to show how powerful the base gun can be, and as expected, because it's incendiary all the time, the Hellfire did struggle to take down the enemy shields, but once those shields were gone, the Hellfire pretty much tore through everything in its path. Another interesting note is that while yes, this weapon is always going to be incendiary and it fires a projectile, it has virtually no recoil whatsoever and it also has an insanely fast fire rate with a fast moving projectile, so this means it's incredibly easy to get critical hits on enemies, so shield or not, you'll be burning through enemies, pun intended, very quickly if you're able to be accurate with this weapon, though I have to say, it's somewhat difficult if they're moving around because this weapon does fire insanely quickly. Now the gameplay you guys are watching right now is me with a class mod on as well as talents and action skills, though I was careful to not build too much into Flak's abilities that allow him to do more critical damage as well as cause every one of his shots to have a 25% chance to automatically be a crit. I did this because I wanted to show how good the gun was on its own without using Flak to his fullest potential. As you guys can see, shield or not, these enemies are going down pretty quickly just because of how fast the Hellfire shoots and how much elemental damage it actually does. All in all, the Hellfire is an incredibly potent weapon here in Borderlands 3, and because of its history as one of the most recognizable and memorable weapons in the Borderlands franchise, I highly recommend anyone and everyone go out and farm this absolute beast. But ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. There is episode 5 of my Borderlands 3 Legendary Weapon Guide series. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop me a rating, and if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe.
because I will be posting a guide for every legendary weapon here within this game. But ladies and gentlemen, once again, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop me a rating, leave your thoughts and feedback on the Hellfire down there in the comments, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.